G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I am here with Amy. Today we are going to minister to 10 people. Yes. If you would also like to receive ministry in this format, you can write your name in the comments and we would love to minister to you. So the first person I want to minister to is Dominique. Uh, Dominique, the Lord shows me how Jesus is standing with his wings and how you come and you stand underneath his wing and how he provides for you. He provides financially, He provides emotionally, He speaks to you, He gives you direction, He even heals you emotionally. And I felt that the Lord says, remain under my wing, because that's the place of safety, and that's the place where I'm going to help you to grow so that you can move to the next level that God has for you. But right now, I felt that the Lord says, remain in Him. He loves you very, very much. God bless you, Dominique. Amen. God bless you, Dominique. This next word is for Jeanette. Jeanette, I just really feel the Holy Spirit is really leading you and, and taking you to the path where you need to be. And I saw how the Lord has opened up some doors for you and you have some decisions to make. And I just really feel the Holy Spirit is taking you by the hand and leading you to where you need to go. And I just feel God is reminding you of the promise of that you are like a tree planted by rivers of living water that God has called you to um, be, be by the lilies. I just feel the Lord says, I have a place for you and that is a place of peace and my glory. So I just feel the Lord is really placing, giving you peace and He's filling you up with His glory and His love. And then I saw a picture of a new scroll that God has for you for 2025 and I feel that you are going to rise up as a mentor to um, a few people but also how God is really going to bless you when with, um, friendship within your family. I just feel there's a beautiful um, family friendship anointing anointing happening in your life. God loves you, Jeanette. God bless you. Hey, Jeanette, uh, we love and appreciate you. Um, thank you. Uh, so the next word is for Hazel. Hazel, uh, the Lord gives me that verse in Luke chapter 4 where it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And then one of the things is to set the captives free. To, to heal the broken hearted, all right? uh, good news for the poor. And I just felt that the Lord says that is the blueprint and a plan that He has for your life is to help captive people to become free, to help people that are broken in their hearts to become healed. And the Lord is even today pouring a fresh anointing upon your life that you will not only be able to sort out the things in your own life, but that you'll have extra time and extra finances and extra emotional, emotional capacity to be able to minister to other people also. The Lord loves you very, very much. Hazel, God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Sharika. Sharika, I just really feel God is giving you prophetic dreams at this time. He's speaking to you prophetically. He's calling you to prophesy not only over your life and your family's lives, but to a lot of young people. I just feel that the Lord is raising you up to be a voice. And I saw a picture of how, um, you know, when you're like sorting out a storage room or a garage and you're like throwing out a lot of old unnecessary things that were just keeping space. And I just feel like you're in a season of your life where you're looking looking at everything and you're like, okay, God, what is unnecessary? What should I take out so I can leave more space for you and what is what needs to happen now um, and, and what's worth taking space? So I just feel God is really giving you wisdom and He's really, um, this is really like a let go season so that God can bless you with more. Um, Sharika, God loves you so much and I really feel God is doing such a deep healing in your life. God loves you. God bless you. Okay, awesome. Uh, Sherika, God bless you. So the next word is for Melandri. Uh, Melandri, uh, the Lord shows me uh, teaching gifting upon your life and also uh, administration gifting on your life. Mm. And then I see you understand how to flow with the anointing of God. Now to flow with the anointing of God is a relationship, but it's also wisdom. To understand what must I do. Because God has given you power. But you need to use that power in the right way. And I see how you uh, receive education from God. In the area of teaching and administration. But also in the area of ministry. And I see how the Lord is putting a fire inside of you. A love yes. for Jesus. And how He heals your relationship even in your family. And so the Lord is positioning you for a launch. And as you are faithful to learn and to grow. You will see that the Lord will all the steps of the way provide for you financially and even relationships as you need it. God bless you, Melandri. Amen. God bless you, Melandri. This next word is
is for Abaya. Abaya, God loves you so, so much. And I just feel God has given you a leadership anointing. Um, God has called you to be a leader. Um, but the picture God showed me for you was you are working very hard for God. And and the scripture, you know, seeks first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. You are a kingdom seeker and you are seeking God's face. The picture God showed me for you was how you were drinking coffee and you were working late hours. You were working very, very hard, but you were doing the works that God has called you to do. But right next to you was a present. And this present was the power and energy and joy of the Lord. But it was like right there and you didn't open up the box. You just kept on working and, and um, out of your own works, but doing what God has told you to do which is amazing but you're like trying to drink coffee and to stay awake and I just feel the Lord says that presence right next to you it is time to open up the box and draw unto my joy and my strength and my power I just feel there's like a huge a new boost that God wants to give you in this season so that you'll be more effective that you'll have more peace and also at the same time not be like burnt out or feel like things are are shaking I just feel God wants to bless you at this time because you have been faithful you have been giving good works so I really want to encourage you um, listen to some worship music soaking music um, go outside and just say God I draw unto the gift that you've given me I, I receive your joy God loves you so much God bless you okay a bio God bless you so Anneli uh, the Lord uh, says to me I give you favor where you are yes. and so even in a position where you are we feel oh this is hard this person uh, in my life is really giving me a lot of problems I felt that the Lord says Trust in Him. He's growing your capacity. He's uh, bringing holiness into that person's life. Uh, and He's going to give you favor. He's going to promote you. And he's going to bless you where you are. And so the Lord doesn't want you to run away. But run towards Him. And run towards the call and the purpose that He's given to you right now. He said, but Lord, is this my purpose? I just felt the Lord says, I've placed you exactly where I want you. And I'm going to bless you there. God bless you. Amen. This next verse for Amanda. Amanda, there's a lot of things where you feel like, God, I can't. And I just feel God is having like a talk with you. Amanda, you can. And I just feel there's a lot of things in your head. Um, I don't know. I, I, I saw I'm praying for you. I feel like you've been like scrolling on Pinterest and you were like looking for, I don't know, like if it's like a house or if it's um, clothes or like places you want to travel or or um, things. But you're like, God, I'm not capable or even worthy enough to have this. And I just feel God says you can. My gift for you is good. And I just feel the Lord is really um, opening up a financial door in your life. And he's giving you stra a strategy of how you can not only... Um, because I feel God has given you a calling to be a giver and to overflow. But I just feel the Lord says that He wants you to overflow. Um, and that's more than enough. And I just feel that's a, that's a blessing God wants to give you. And then lastly, Amanda, I just see how God is dancing with you. And as you dance, you spend more time with Him and you become more like Him. And I just feel the Lord says there are new levels in our relationship that we're going to come into where you're going to know me even more in a more personal way. Just like when Moses went up that mountain, he had a face-to-face -face conversation with God. He saw God's face. And because of that, his face shone. And I just feel that's what God wants to do with you he wants that face-to-face -face personal um, relationship with you and he's just calling you deeper god loves you amanda god bless you okay hey, amanda god bless you all right so joshua uh, the Lord is giving you a seat of authority and is preparing you to one day to have governmental authority on your life. Yeah. But I felt that the Lord says, son, I want you in a spirit to remain in the rest. Trust in me, obey me and sit on that authority that God has given to you. Don't allow the enemy to push you to the left or the, or the uh, right and put thoughts in your mind that's going to get you off course. Yeah. I felt that the Lord says, stay focused listen to me and remain in authority and even declare God's authority uh, that words of authority uh, through your mouth uh, I love that verse in Job chapter 28 verse 20 yeah chapter 22 verse 28 it says there that uh, you shall declare a thing and the Lord the Lord shall establish it and I felt that the Lord says as you declare and you trust in me you'll see how the Lord will establish you and grow and promote you. God bless you, Joshua. Amen. God. 
Amen. Thank you, Joshua. That was very powerful. I really hope you received it. This next word is for Sindoni. Sindoni, God loves you so much. And I, I just feel there's such an anointing of faithfulness in your life. So the picture God showed me for you, this is very interesting. So I saw a picture of you as a veterinarian, right? And you had a bunch of horses. And then you became just such a good steward over them. You looked after them. You fed them. Their coats were shiny. But for a long time, you kind of took them kept them like in the back for not not really people could see it uh see them and then um and then you like put them in the front of your yard this is just the picture and then when people would walk past they would see these beautiful horses and how well you took care of them and then all of a sudden people came to you with opportunities and they showed uh, and then they were like okay will you will you do this will you do that and then it just opened up a whole new door for you in your ministry financially and i just feel the lord says um you are a good steward keep on doing your good works but I do want you to, he, God is really going to give you wisdom of how you can really, um, I don't know if it's like promoting your brand or, um, or um, really like showing what, what you can do to people. But I just feel God is going to give you a lot of wisdom of how you can show people um, the gifts that he has given you so that more doors will be open. So yeah, I really hope this word makes sense. God loves you so much. And I, I, I really feel that there's just such a, God really loves you. You, you really, yeah, you are the apple of his eye. God loves you. God bless you. Hey, Sidani, so uh, I see how God is holding you. He loves you very much. Uh, hey, family, it was such a big pleasure for me and Amy to minister to you today. So uh, we are going to be back again on Monday with our life. Yes. But every single day we're posting a, a prophetic word where we minister to 10 people. So if you would like to receive word, just write your name in the comments. We love and appreciate you. God bless you. Bye. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.